Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Helen Tong and I'm a Minerva Fellow at the EU Japan Centre in Tokyo. Today I'd like to talk about presence. What does presence mean? And what does it actually symbolise? Presence for me is this idea of being in the present moment. Present is being there, but not necessarily having to make oneself known. I've thought about this topic um, because more recently I've been waking up earlier and trying to do blogs and meditate. And one of the things I've noticed is this idea of how presence plays such an important role and in the context of sort of maybe East-West culture. So if I may, I'm going to start sharing my thoughts about this. Presence in a Western context is perhaps being loud, perhaps it's actually saying what you think. Presence is actually putting your hand up and contributing to conversations or meetings. Presence in perhaps an Eastern context, and more specifically in Japan, is very much silence. Presence is being there, being seen, but not necessarily have to speak. And it's not necessarily a negative thing. In fact, by far, I've been told by many of my colleagues, and particular some leaders, that presence is actually a virtue. Before I came to Japan to start my Minerva Fellow program, I thought, does it mean literally sipping tea in silence? Well, I wouldn't necessarily go to that extreme, but what I would say is there is some sort of beauty, there is some sort of connection that happens when we speak and we give each other space. I've come to understand a few things about leadership. And rather than taking the lead, decisions, actions, and so forth, I've actually felt that leadership is about giving space for others. And I think presence, be it in the form of silence, be it in the form of letting others speak, is a kind of leadership, is a kind of form of um, empowerment for others. Now, quite interestingly, I recently attended the Japan Blockchain Conference in Yokohama, and I could tell the distinct difference between, let's say, the Western speakers and the Japanese speakers. The Western speakers will literally, I would say, grab the mic and make their voice heard and do a lot of what I would call self-promotion. I don't know how that would have gone well with the Japanese audience, albeit the audience there. The Japanese speakers, I felt, were more quiet, yet thoughtful, and actually when they did have something to say, it was actually on point, and very useful, I think, for the most part. It's a huge change for me, particularly when I've been brought up in a Western context. So let's talk about high context culture and low context culture now. So high context culture, you would say, is the many layers that we um, see, feel, hear, absorb, um, and intuitively understand. So for example, Asian culture, and more specifically Japanese culture here, it's when you have the word um, tatamae and hon. So tatame is what one presents, I guess, outside, and hon is more where one thinks for oneself. In Western culture, I guess, um, particularly in the States, in the UK, Australia, we pretty much are encouraged to speak our mind and say what we think um, in very much along the lines of, you know, having courage, you know, to say that. Whereas I think in Asian culture here, it's more about respecting the other person or respecting the context and environment and actually limiting what we think so being courteous and actually not expressing our views and um, speaking with regards to the other. And so I think this blend could be quite interesting for entrepreneurs, particularly when they're thinking of embarking doing business in Japan. Um, and one of the things that why people think maybe, oh, it's so hard to do business in Japan could very much be on a linguistical level, but I think on a cultural level contextual level there is that layer which um, probably needs some time just as I am I'm doing and learning at the same time
So share with me your thoughts, what you think about high context culture, low context culture, uh, what you think about presence. You can always um, message me, um, email me. It's uh, newspace2060 at gmail.com. Uh, please hashtag and also at EU Japan Centre. Thank you very much.